Okay, thanks for joining me, everyone. As you all know, we need to respond to this ransom. The board wants this resolved fast. The attackers have uncovered a lot of data. Any idea what files they've stolen? No doubt some important data that could embarrass the company. Customer info that could devastate our reputation. This is a dirty business, no doubt. The board has brought in some extra help for us. What do you mean? The board informed me today that they've hired two independent firms. The first is a skilled incident response team called HSPS CyberCops. And the second is a crisis management facilitator, William Green. The incident response team has already been dispatched and have started their work. They will be providing updates to William and myself, as well as to the board. William will be responsible for leading the negotiations with the attackers and keeping all of us up to date. Both William and the IR team are accountable to a special committee that is directly accountable to the board of directors for the hotel. Are you serious? Why didn't the board consult with us? Aren't we the IT department? I'm not really sure. I went to the board chair to brief her and she told me she was calling an emergency meeting of the board. They didn't consult me either. I was just informed of this plan at that meeting. I was provided William's contact information and we have since met. He now wants to meet our team. I've invited him to this meeting. I'm gonna let him know now that he can enter our Zoom session. I'll send him a text. Okay. Ah, William, welcome. Everyone, I'd like you to meet William Green from Global Security Negotiations. Let me introduce my team, William. Jackie is our Chief Technology Officer, and Redima is our Assistant CTO. Lane's our Front Desk Manager, and Brennan is a part of our IT team working for Jackie and Redima. Pleasure meeting all. Um, I expect this to be a bit of a shock uh, that I'm somewhat new to uh, all of you. Not exactly. We prepared for this. Our team ran a simulation exercise last month, actually. I briefed Leon. I'm more surprised that we were not consulted to address the situation. Does the board think I, we can't handle this? Jackie, the board is taking the steps that they feel are necessary based on the advice they've received from their advisors. We are expected to follow their directives. 
I understand your position, Jackie. Uh, I'm not here to run your IT operations. I've been uh, hired as a crisis manager and negotiator. So uh, let me explain. My background over several decades has been uh, dealing with security issues relative to crisis management, uh, negotiations uh, with extensive backgrounds in negotiating with threat actors from kidnappings to extortions and basically focusing at understanding and responding to the uh, criminals behind these uh, attacks and trying to assist and support teams like yourself uh, in this regard. Um, and that's essentially what I'm here for is to be here to support you guys, work through the issues. And as we know, <clears throat> most of the people or most of these incidents have a humans at the other end of these computers. And I'm here to help manage the human element in this particular uh, case. So <clears throat> right now, all of your critical business services have been shut down. I'm in contact with the board and the threat actors. They want a large ransom, Bitcoin. They provided details for transferring the funds to the Bitcoin account, and they want this transaction completed in the next six hours. I know that. In discussions with the IR team, though, we advise the board of the next steps to inform law enforcement agencies of the attack. Also, with the latest update from the IR team, they've made an interesting discovery. Some of the data that the hackers have revealed may be of no use to them. What? That doesn't make any sense. They've taken data, but nothing I can tell that would compromise the hotel. What do they have? I'm just uh, reviewing all of it right now, but essentially what I see is hotel maps. Maps, I would have hotel maps, so. Yeah, exactly. What else do they have? Looks like hotel brochures. Well, that's useless stuff. What else do they have access to? Looks like some sort of test account data for loyalty programs. Does this sound familiar? Yeah, that was my program. It never mm. got off the ground, it was too expensive. That one didn't launch because the business never gave their, their approval for the design. That's right. No, 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 it wasn't the design, it was the price tag. Brennan, didn't you lead that project? You made the pitch to um, Leon and the steering committee. I guess it was a good thing they only got the test data. Tourist maps, parking lots, surrounding restaurants, grocery lists, liquor order forms, many generic hotel templates, even a few failed projects. Nothing too private about our customers. Don't they know they have such generic data? Wait, are you suggesting that it's okay that they have some of our data? That's exactly what he's trying to tell us. I don't, I don't get it. We've been hacked. They have our data. That's bad, isn't it? Well, not really. It all depends on how much of the system files they were able to tap into. The data that they have revealed is not the kind of data they can leverage for such a large ransom. This may be all part of their strategy. But they must know this data is useless info. Mm. Perhaps, or it's a bluff to make us believe that this is a game and that they have more critical data. Either way, we need to act quickly. We have to patch our systems, analyze the, our data and documents, uh, document all evidence of the media that they may have compromised. I assume this is what the IR team is doing? That's correct, uh, Jackie. The incident response team has already been at this for several hours. In addition to the data I shared, the IR team also found some suspicious encrypted files. I'm not sure what the data has been that's been encrypted. They need more time. That sounds like a lot of work. Um, how long are systems going to be down? It may be a while yet. It's not just the data we need to analyze. It includes all our technology, including computers, hotel phones, servers, the network. We can't leave anything unturned. I should be consulting with this IR team. Um, they could use my help. Can I get in contact with them? Well, let me clarify. No one from this organization is permitted at this time to interfere with the IR team's work. I have strict instructions from the board and the IR team. 
They've made it clear they don't want anyone getting in their way while they're uncovering the evidence and the details of the breach for obvious reasons. They will consult with the board and keep Leon and myself updated as requ uh, required. They'll also update your IT group as needed with their findings. What about the uh, entry to the breach? What has the incident response team done? Well, this is long past the entry stage. The attackers have been in the system for some time. They've already taken data and encrypted files. The question is, to what extent has the system been compromised? How much data did they take? What type of data? And how did they get into the system in the first place? What additional weaknesses in the system have they found? Their job is to secure and preserve the digital evidence at this time. This is a race against time to mitigate the risk to the organization. We wait for further direction from their team. My job is to buy the IR team as much time as possible by essentially stalling the attackers. And at this point, how much time do you think we have? Less than six hours. I begin a dialogue with them to gain the IR team more time. Dialogue with the criminals? How did you contact them? What are you talking with them about? Well, the attackers opened an encrypted channel using WhatsApp. They sent the credentials to the board chair. She passed the details to me. In my discussions with the IR team, they asked me to try to see if the attackers will provide us a key to decrypt a few files. This will at least prove the encrypted files that the IR team found were sent or were set by the attackers and were able to be restored. It also provides us more evidence of the breadth and depth of the attack which the IR team will use to analyze the risk to the hotel. Are you sure this will work? Not sure. It's difficult to assess this group. On one hand, they seem inexperienced, but that could be a guise. They seem to be open to dialogue, though. This could prove helpful. It provides me the opportunity to try and delay and buy us more time for the IR team to complete their analysis. So they think by decrypting a few files, they are solidifying the case for the ransom to be delivered? Exactly. That and the fact they have some of our data, which they revealed. Whatever other data they have, assuming they have it, has not yet been exposed. They are threatening to release whatever they public market. Then there are the encrypted files that the IR team has discovered. We are just not sure to what extent of the compromised data and how great the risk it poses to the organization. It's too early to tell. More evidence is required. Well, what if we simply don't pay the ransom and call their bluff? We've already played the, the we can't afford to pay you card before William came onto the scene. I consulted with Leon about this, but the board wasn't receptive to this option. That's understandable. In my discussions with the board, I explained the risk. It's high stakes move when the compromised party decides to call the attacker's potential bluff, especially when you're not armed with the intelligence about the nature and the scope of the attack. The board agreed. Oh, so you advised them? Yes, but I didn't have to do a lot of uh, convincing. The board had consulted with the incident response team. They were all on the same page insofar as the process. With everything you've shared with us, why do you think we shouldn't call the attackers out? Given how long the attackers have been in your systems, it's a good bet they likely explored the financial records of the hotel group. They likely determine the hotel group has money. We can only speculate. They were prepared. We have to be prepared as well. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why the board didn't change their position. What if the IR team determines the attackers have access to the entire database of clients and credit cards for thousands of customers? Then we are in big trouble. That's to be determined. Without having some sort of evidence, we are operating blindly. Our strategy and next steps are based on the findings of the IR team. All I can do is work with the evidence as it's presented and try to buy as much time as possible for the IR team to complete their analysis and their work. Board is determined to avoid paying that ransom if at all possible. And I understand the board's position. 
Have you seen the latest market value of Bitcoin? A single Bitcoin just topped $60,000. Now times 10 for those hackers. Well, that's more than half a million dollars. We get it. It's about the money. All the money is one thing, guys. The reputation of the hotel is your greatest risk. If your customer data is compromised, then you likely won't have a hotel to work for. Okay, and one other thing. Just want to remind everyone, this is a confidential matter and it needs to be contained. What is shared in these meetings stays in these meetings. The last thing we need is for this to leak to the press and to our customers. Thanks, Leon, that's a great point. Please note all the communication with the staff will be tightly scrutinized by the board and be based on the advice of the IR team. More details will be available shortly. Make sure you keep your conversations to just this team, please. Why do I feel like a helpless bug stuck in a spider web? <laughs>